you might have seen on eBay this simple 1 kHz to 33 MHz adjustable oscillator module. If it's stable, it could be useful for a wide variety of radio and electronic projects. And at the price, it seemed worth the gamble. There's not much on the board. There's a surface mount chip called the LTC1799. It requires about 3 to 5 volts to supply it. Here's the little module. As you can see, it's tiny. I just soldered it to a scrap bit of circuit board which has a voltage regulator, a 7805. Well, the first thing you do is you don't apply reverse polarity. Here's a 7805 regulator with 12 volts applied back to front. The frequency is adjusted by the two multi-turn potentiometers. One for coarse frequency adjustment and the other for fine frequency adjustment. There are three band ranges and it's the far left that I need because that covers, I think, 100 kilohertz to 33 megahertz. As you can see, there's a fair amount of jitter. Now one thing you will notice is as you tune near the centre frequency, there's an increase in hash. So there's no doubt that the output of this oscillator is both dirty and unstable. Now let's put it in AM mode. And you can even hear some burble on the AM carrier. No further testing is required. This oscillator is completely unsuitable for any RF application. I've moved the jumper to a lower frequency range, connected a high impedance crystal earpiece, and first of all I just heard a hash, but then I adjusted the frequency down and got it in the audio range. got an 8 ohm speaker, we'll see if this thing will power that. As you can see it drives the 8 ohm speaker okay. So there you have it. If you want something for RF then look elsewhere, but for casual audio use then this module could have some applications.